Today we gather here with heavy hearts as we bid farewell to 11 bright souls from the Department of Health Management and Informatics who were taken from us too soon. I bring you heartfelt condolences from the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. His thoughts and prayers are with you all. As an alumni of Kenyatta University, I'm sad to see the lights of our comrades put off so suddenly. The 11 souls we lost were not just students, they were family, both here at college and at their respective homes. They were bright students, full of potential, eager to learn, graduate, and go out to conquer the world. To the families and friends of Ostino Mondi, Benea Sotieno, Felix Gori Nyata, Helen Bula, John Biriri, Michael Muteti, Neville Omondi Opio, Oslo Mwendwa, Patricia Murugi Mwangi, Rogers Kipro Kiprono Rono, and Valerie Akinyi Ouma. I offer my deepest sympathy. We stand with you in solidarity, offering our love, support, and prayers during this difficult time. We are heartbroken because we have lost future leaders in different spheres of life. They were shining examples to their peers and the pride and joy of their families and communities. Some were the only hope their families had as they had invested everything to ensure their children got a quality education. In moments such profound loss, it is often difficult to find solace. Yet as Psalms 34:18 reminds us, and I quote, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Let us take comfort in these words drawing strength from our faith in God and our love for each other. To all motorists, my plea is that we exercise caution at all times. Let us be more vigilant and courteous on our roads, ensuring our safety and that of other road users. In closing, let us always remember the moments we shared with our loved ones. May their spirits live in our hearts forever. During this trying and difficult season, my prayer for you is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 7, and I quote, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. May we all be comforted. May our children's souls rest in eternal peace. To the 47 students, who are injured and currently recuperating, we shall continue to keep you in our prayers and trust God for your full recovery. Beloved families, comrades, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to recognize and appreciate the Vice Chancellor, Professor Paul Wainaina, and the leadership of Kenyatta University for their unwavering commitment and support to the students following the tragic road accident that occurred on Monday, March 18th, 2024. I also thank the Red Cross team, all other first responders, the medical teams from Taita Taveta and Nairobi counties, and every well-wisher who attended to the students when they were in need. As we mourn the loss of our comrades, let us also take this opportunity to reflect on the importance of cherishing every moment we have. Let us honor their memory by striving to create a safer, more compassionate world. School trips are meant to be moments of joy, of learning, and of bonding. As much as that should be the case today, we find ourselves grappling with the reality of a journey cut short and futures left unfulfilled. Your Excellency, first I want to convey my very heartfelt condolences to the families friends and the relatives of the uh, deceased students and uh, similarly to also convey my deep sympathies 
to the University of Kenyatta, the faculty, and all the family, all the fraternity of Kenyatta University for the roles of these uh, uh, students. Your Excellency, these 11 students died at a very young age. The number of them were 21, 22 years. Indeed, it was at the very prime age that they passed on. Their dreams, their aspirations, and the potential they had ahead was enormous. Due to the hard work, they had positioned themselves to serve this country in several other ways in the future. And indeed, uh, the opportunity was there for them. But unfortunately, the worst animal man took the merit of victory. There's nothing we can do at this particular time apart from to cling the promises of God as passed over and as we have gotten the message very clearly from Reverend Kamau. God works out in miracles because time like this, we are informed and told very clearly that his grace is sufficient and indeed his power becomes perfect at a time of weakness like now. We are also equally told because we have to cling the promises of God that his peace surpasses that uh, uh, that we can never imagine uh, any kind of understanding. So upon the families and all of us, we have the confidence and the faith that indeed the peace and the grace of God will be upon the families so that they can be able to be comforted, strengthened, and soon enough they will be able to heal out of this uh, tragedy. We have had quite a number of accidents in following our school vehicles and the universities. And Your Excellency, uh, when we investigate and get to know what really happened, we come to confirm, we confirm that a number of these accidents can be avoided. Almost 50, 60% of the accidents we have had in our roads are avoidable and actually some of them are made because of human error, uh, party judgment uh, sometimes, and uh, we are asking about uh, our drivers on the roads, and all of us to be very, very cautious when we are uh, driving in the roads because we can see the kind of roads that is coming to the country and the families that would have been avoided, and that's why I'm sure moving forward, the government is coming in very, very strongly to tighten the rules to make sure that we don't have the kind of occurrences that we have had in our roads leading to the human laws that we are experiencing here today. Ever since it happened, uh, Your Excellency, the government of William Samai Ruto, from that night, we have been cooperating very, very closely with the Vice Chancellor and the Chair of Council in mobilizing all that was required, particularly in airlifting uh, those who were affected from Foy up to Avenue, uh, uh, Avenue Hospital. And I thank uh, all of them because they came in very handy and we were able to evacuate as quickly as it was possible uh, those who were affected almost the same, same night. We also thank the staff, the doctors, and I think even those of us, the doctors who have not gone back to work, we should be able to run from this. The four, the four uh, in Taita Taveta medical staff were able to respond in record speed, and they tried as much as possible to save human life. We join you on this sad day to mourn each and every one of these 11 comrades. We remember them in a very special way because they chose careers in health to better each of our lives. But they have departed before they could fulfill their dreams 
and their aspirations have folded too early. Dear parents, guardians, and families of these departed heroines and heroes, I know they filled your homes with cheer, laughter, and warmth. We cannot even imagine the depth of your loss and pain. But I want to tell you today that God is still God. Look unto him, call unto him. He will comfort you. He will wipe away your tears. Kenyatta University Fraternity, these are difficult times. The days ahead are not easy either, but you're not alone. As a ministry, we stand with you. The entire university fraternity stands with you. The education community stands with you. And indeed, the whole country is with you. <laughs>